Hello, good day viewers. Uh, welcome to another mathematics lesson. This is your presenter, Mr. Mlengo. So right here with me, I've got a question that is coming from mathematics paper 1 under the topic trigonometry. The question reads, in the diagram, ABC is a straight line, angle BCD is equal to 90, and tan ABD is equal to negative 3 over 4. Calculate the length of BD. So they want us to find the length of what? BD, right here. This is the length they want us to, to find. So how do you find this length? First thing, take note of what you have been given. They have said the value of tani ABD is equal to negative 3 over a 4. So this is the first step. So upon identification of this, uh, next step, we need to identify where this tan ABD is. So you can see we have A, B, D, meaning that we are talking about this tan which will be right here outside. So this is the tan that is having negative 3 over 4. So we need to come up with the, the tan that will be inside this triangle, okay? Because it will be very difficult for us to find the length of BD without the side BC and the DC. So, uh, what you are going to do is, the turn that will be inside right here, if this outside turn is negative 3 over 4, then turn D, B, C, okay? So, we are saying, turn D, B, C. Okay, it will be a 3 over a 4. So the one which is outside is the negative. The one that will be inside will be a positive. That is one important thing you must take note of. So apart from that now, we know that in, when we are finding tan, we normally say tan theta is equal to uh, opposite over adjacent. So this is the formula for tan. So looking at what we have, since we have uh, tan, dbc tan dbc is equal to 3 over 4 so this simply means that the value of 3 the numerator is the opposite okay while the denominator 4 is the adjacent coming from this principle of the formula so right here where the the angle 3 over 4 is pointing this is my opposite okay then down here, line BC, this is the adjacent. Then the length that they want us to find, BD, this is the hypotenuse. So we need to find the hypotenuse. That means we have found the BD. So since we have identified that, 3 is the opposite. So right here on the opposite, it's a 3. Then right here on the adjacent, it's a 4. Alright, so now we can find the uh, BD. So remember we have said the line BD is the hypotenuse. So to find this hypotenuse, we are just going to apply the um, rule of Pythagoras theorem. Because this is the right angle triangle, we have two sides, so we need to find the hypotenuse. So in order to find the line BD, which is the hypotenuse, we are going to say uh, BD squared is equal to... So when we are finding the um, hypotenuse, we need to find the sum of the squares of the adjacent sides. So I have the line BC right here, which will be BC squared plus uh, DC or CD squared is fine. Okay. So this is how you can find the hypotenuse. You need to add the squares of the opposite sides. But if you are finding one of these sides, you need to subtract from the hypotenuse. So from here, we are going to say, uh, BD squared is equal to, so BC is a 4 squared plus CD is a 3 squared. So from here, I'm going to say BD squared is equal to 4 squared is a 16 plus 3 squared is um, it's a 9. So you just need to add where we say BD squared is equal to 16 plus 9. This will give us a 25. So from here, we need to find the square root of uh, BD because we need to get rid of the, the power 2. So these two and the square root cancel. Therefore, BD 
is equal to the square root of 25 is a 5. So, this now tells us that this line BG, the length was what? 5. Okay. So, come to the end of our lesson. Thank you so much, everybody, for having time to view this content. This has been your presenter, Mr. Mlenga. Bye-bye.